Hello everyone, it's Chelsea from Paper Octio Studio and today is November 1st and the very first day of hashtag Art Journal Habit 2018 which is a month-long daily art journaling challenge with one word prompt provided by the Art Joy of Sharing Facebook group and live stream show which is Peg Robinson and I. We've given prompts and the prompt for day one is Feather so I'm going to be making my page. But before I do that I'm going to show you really quick my very, very simple junk journal that I made for this challenge. Um, there's nothing really to it. I'm using junk mail that is has come to my mailbox because of the recent uh, ongoing primary. Lots of these card type of things have come to my mailbox so that's what I'm going to be using to make my whole journal. All I did was to, to kind of take some of the smaller ones, figure out what the size is, trim them down all to the same size which is six inches by eight inches and I just did that on a big guillotine cutter, cut a, bun a bunch of pages and then I made, um, I measured in half an inch made a line and then measured in one and a half inches from either end made another line and punched a hole and that is my guide to punching all my holes then I just used that that first page that I punched to uh, clip together with my other pages and punched all holes through all the pages and then for the covers I have a little bit heavier stock it's like a it was a cardboard envelope and I cut it so that it's uh, just slightly larger, six and a quarter by eight and a quarter. And here I am punching the holes in that by lining up that same first page template. And then to cover my covers, <laughs> I'm going to cover my covers, I'm using some gel prints that I have that I made during the recent Myrtle Beach Art Retreat with Deco Art stencils and Stencil Girl stencils. And deco art paints. So I'm just kind of piecing these together. I'm going to collage both the front and the back, but you won't see the back because I didn't actually do it today. This this is a speed through of the Art Joy of Sharing live stream show today. And for some reason, I couldn't switch back and forth between Peg and I. So the entire show was Peg talking and me doing art because she didn't have a chance to show anything. So if you'd like to see what her uh, feather page is you can go to the art joy of sharing Facebook group or look at her Instagram she's posted um, pictures of what she did for her page but she won't have a video today because the the hangouts for the live stream were broken I, I don't know why but anyway I'm just using some coordinating prints that I made um, to completely cover the front and then tuck over to the back of my piece of chipboard and uh, putting this cut out from a poster which is a butterfly on the front and then I'm going to put some different types of letters I have some wood ones some chipboard ones and some stickers and I'm going to pick those out in a minute still putting on my butterfly <laughs> And then um, that's going to say Art Journal Habit 2018 on the front. And I think that I don't finish the whole thing on camera because the, about, about the time I was painting the letters, we realized that I couldn't switch back and forth between Peg's screen and mine. And so I figured I'd move on to my page um, for the prompt today, which is Feather. So there's the stickers. Those are... Um, to, to do the 2018. I was talking about my new uh, collage brush from Tim Holtz Distress Line. Uh, I'll put a link for it in the description box below. If you, This is a really nice, this is working great for collage. I wish I had this thing five years ago. It's flat, it's smooth, it's like kind of has like a sweeping motion so I'm really having fun with it. But there's some other stickers, they're kind of uh, dimensional, and then I have these chipboard ones and these wooden ones, and I'm in a minute I'm gonna paint them. Um, of course, there's gotta be copper, you know, because copper. So I get out my PBO copper, and then I'm gonna paint the ones that say journal black, 
because those other stickers at the bottom are black. So I want to make sure. Plus there's some black in the butterfly or very dark brown. So those are going to be what's going to decorate the cover, the front cover of my journal. I'm going to do the same thing on the back, only that it won't have any words or anything. It'll just be uh, collaged on coordinating uh, gel prints to cover the back side of it. And then to attach it, I have these ring binder things that, that are like a cord and they screw together. Um, I bought them to, to make little rings out of some of my smaller stencils because I'm having a hard time uh, organizing and finding all my stencils, uh, especially the, the four by fours and the smaller ones. So I'm going to punch a hole in them and I'm going to ring bind them like that with the, one of those rings that screws together. But I also thought it would be a great way to bind this little junk journal too. So that's what I'm using. So very, very simple people. You don't have to, if you don't want to sew in signatures and do all that stuff, this is a simple way to do it. You can take the page out, work at, work on it individually and then put it back in. Um, it's all completely free because the, it's junk mail from the mail and it's, uh, papers that I've already gel printed and stickers that I already had and stuff like that. So I'm not spending any money to make this junk journal to do my month long daily art journaling. So like I said, day one, which is today was the prompt was feather. How did we come up with these prompts? Uh, this year, instead of brainstorming like we have in the past, this is the fourth year we've done this challenge with our own prompts. Um, we just used a random word generator. <laughs> so if you want to blame the prompts on somebody, blame it on the phone because yeah, it, it uh, just generated random words. So the first word has happened to be feather. I have this piece of happy mail that was made by Debbie B. And she had sent that to me recently. And it's got the words fantasy and feather highlighted. And then it has that feather drawn on it. And I thought I would use that on my page because I could I could incorporate that into my feather page pretty darn easily since it had a feather on it and the word feather. So it's on a dictionary paper. And I, I think sometimes people call that found poetry. Uh, you can you can take like a magazine page or a book page and highlight just the words you want to make a poem, something like that. But this one um, has the word fantasy and feather highlighted, which don't actually end up showing up very well on the page. But I decided to collage that dictionary sheet right onto my page, which has some gesso on it. And then I needed to cover the other edge because the, the page was smaller than my journal page. So I have another dictionary sheet and I'm just, I just tore the edge and I'm collaging it on there. And then I take a little bit of that one and just put it down in the, the uh, uh, corner real quick so that it has both colors on there. But there I was talking about having a pair of scissors that has a Teflon coating on the them. <laughs> That's always a good idea when you're cutting through sticky stuff, which I don't wait until it's dry to trim it. I trim it right through the glue. So I need a pair of scissors that uh, doesn't freak out when I do that. And I can clean off the um, Teflon non-stick coating on those scissors really easily. So there's the background of my page. Now I need some more feathers. So I am looking at these like real live feathers that Debbie sent me. I have metal feathers over there. I had some feather stickers. I decided to cut some of my own feathers out of some uh, jelly printed uh, deli paper and put those on. So that's what I'm doing is just freehand cutting, not, no pattern or anything. I'm just uh, taking scissors and cutting out a feather shape and then cutting some little uh, uh, you know, cuts out of the edges and down the center to make it look more, more feather-like. And I start with this kind of teal colored one and then I move on to red. I find a piece of red paper, uh, gel printed paper and you do a red one 
and same process, cut a slit down the middle for the quill part of the feather and then cut a few hashes in the sides to make kind of a feather effect. Here I am showing some little uh, junk, a junk journal on a gel print journal that I was given um, at the art retreat by Vicki. She made these and talking about how they would be good options. If, if you're worried about doing an art journal page every day and you think that that's a big commitment, if you make it a very small art journal page, <laughs> then you have, you can do it a lot quicker. So that's something to think about is to use something small. And my page is six by eight is not very large. I thought about using that one that Vicki had given me with the gel prints in it that looks like it's about maybe uh, five by five. Um, I thought that would be a great one, except for it did not have enough pages in it to do the entire month. So I decided to just go ahead and make this one out of junk mail instead, which is what I did last year for this challenge. I made a junk mail journal last year too. So this is a good way to do it. You, you need to not stress about art journaling. You need to know that it's uh, something for yourself and maybe your descendants somewhere down the line might want to keep it as a keepsake after you're gone. But it's not to be hanging in the Louvre. It's quick art that is expressing your feelings for the day and um, just giving you a creative outlet and a way to do something creative each day. And that's what we're trying to encourage is everyone to form this habit of doing a little bit of art each day and having a book that you can work in and, you know, keep to yourself. Maybe you never show it to anyone is a great way to do it. So that's what art journaling is all about. Expressing yourself, your feelings, your creativity in a personal way that you could share with someone if you want to, but you don't have to. So I put my little, uh, feathers on there with some Liquitex matte gel medium. Then I attached some real feathers, which were also sent to me by Debbie B. Uh, I think she lives by a beach and she might've just picked up these feathers and I kind of put them in a fan shape. Um, I was sort of thinking about, uh, when I was growing up, I grew up in a town that had a very large rodeo and we also had a large population of American Indians who would, um, also participate during this rodeo with a teepee village and dancing and beautiful costumes and they were in the parades and the girls the princesses there was always like kind of a contest for the rodeo princess that were native american princesses and they had beautiful handmade beaded costumes and they would always carry this kind of i guess it, it was kind of like a fan. I think I think it was kind of like a fan, but it was made out of feathers. So it was kind of this same shape of this fan shape of feathers attached at the bottom with some type of, of leather and beading and pretty stuff hanging off of it. They were beautiful and they would hold them in their hand and um, wave in the parade with them with the fan. So that's kind of the shape I was thinking of when I was doing this. Of course, theirs were more natural looking realistic <laughs> feathers and not these bright colored fantasy feathers that I have here. But it's same type of an idea. So I put a little uh, ribbon at the bottom, glued it down. Because my journal is um, loose, it's you know just ring bound, very loose, having something with dimension like this ribbon and these real feathers on it works fine because there's plenty of room for it to not bulk up the journal. If you're working in a journal that's already bound or sewed or anything like that, then having something this bulky on your page not might not be a good idea. But it works fine for mine because it's so loose and floppy anyway. It doesn't matter if there's extra dimension on my pages. So now I'm doing my shadowing. You know, I love my shadows and highlights. And I'm using a Pentel pocket brush pin, which is something that I got it at the art retreat and it was from Pentel. They sent us these, these aquash water tank brushes and these Pentel pocket brushes, which have cartridges in them that are filled with India ink. And so I was trying it out to see if I could use it 
those two products in conjunction to do my shadowing and it worked beautifully. Now the India ink, it dries, it dries permanent. So I just would just, I just uh, drew a little bit of that on and then use the water tank, the Aquash Pentel water tank brush to blend it. And then now I'm doing the same thing with my white Posca pen that has some acrylic paint in it and I'm just uh, drying on a little bit and before it gets dry, uh, blending it with the Pentel Aquash water tank brush. So that worked very well. I, I really like this uh, brush pin. The Pentel brush pin is really cool. Um, and I'm glad that it's permanent. We, we tried it out. We didn't know for sure what ink was in there until we tried it out at the retreat. And then we found out it was permanent and we were like, yes, because you can make a very fat line, a very thin line. It's a brush. It's like a little synthetic brush. The same brush that's on the water brush, only it's got, got a cartridge with, with black India ink. I don't know if they come in any other colors, but I'm going to look because it's a nice little pin. So the next thing I did was color in my realistic brown feathers. You know, I don't like brown very much with some uh, Posca pin colors, uh, blues and then pink and purple on the bottom one. And I blended that a little bit with uh, with my water brush. Um, today's the first day of a video every day, so I'll be seeing you again tomorrow. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment or question below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Turn on your notification bells if you want to know when I'm having a video every day this month. And, of course, share this if you know somebody who likes fan feathers. For the last little bit here, I'm just... Uh, writing the word feathers at the top with that same Pentel pocket brush. And yeah, that's pretty much the end of the page. So thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.